So we're just getting two of these. How much? Forty. Forty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we just got like some of this, uh, like something with black olive paste. It's like take Lenny. We just got uh, this one is like with the black olive paste. It's like on bread. It's like a typical Turkish something or other. And they're like one euro each. So we find another vegan place that we didn't know existed here because we were looking for another one, but. Uh, I guess we didn't have a great good, uh, didn't have like great timing today because it's like last day of uh, Ramadan. So I guess a lot of places might be closed or with like kind of, uh, you know, restricted hours. restricted hours or whatever. They open and close when they want. So but it's cool. We're still walking around. So we'll see how it goes. So we're walking to find this vegan restaurant. It's called Vegan Istanbul. We left like the busy area and we're like walking in the middle of like a residential area like up this really steep hill we're walking in the middle of all these buildings just like total residential area So we have arrived uh, So Google has brought us to our destination vegan Istanbul and it seems like pretty, I mean, there's stuff in English. Uh, we'll see how it is. We normally don't go out to eat. But um, there was like really good reviews on this restaurant, so we're just gonna try it. You basically, you come in and they have all the things already there made. And you just pick what you want. They have like three options for 60 lira. And they have like four options for 70. Um, a lot of stuff is like stuff that we already make at home, so I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how it is. So this is what we got here. Potatoes, peas, uh, some eggplant and some type of piadina or something. Uh, and we'll see how it is. So we just uh, left the vegan Istanbul uh, overall. I mean, I'd say that... What did we spent uh, 170 which is for, like around 8 euros for, which is about like 8 euros um i mean uh, actually for the price it wasn't bad i mean you can get in there you can get some stuff that normally you wouldn't make in at home like some uh there was like a focaccia like a with the spinach inside and then there was like another like salty kind of sports uh, like salty kind of uh quiche uh, with zucchini and then it was falafel, so some things are kind of like complicated to make at home, so then you can come here and get them here. Um, other things were like rice and lentils and like peas with potatoes and carrots, but um, everything was really spicy, so that was like a down for, for Lenny who doesn't like spicy stuff so much. For me, I'm not bothered by the spicy food, so I think for the price for 8 euro from like 2 people, it was like 170 Turkish lira. Well, 8 euros also because we bought... Because we also bought the cookies, the Other, vegan cookies. Otherwise it would have been 130 Turkish lira, would have, yeah. it would have been like around 3 euros each. So. so for the price, yeah, I mean it's okay, especially if you're out and walking around. You can stop in, you know that all the food is vegan, uh, so you don't have to worry about anything. It is a little bit spicy if you don't eat any spices at all. Uh, but if you like spicy food, then it's really not going to be that spicy at all. So, yeah, I mean, I'd say for the price, it, it wasn't uh, wasn't bad at all. It's called Kenkum here in Istanbul. It's a vegan place. That's what we got so far. One plate with, uh, I guess, um, baba ganoush, hummus, some tomato sauce, salad, I guess the pita bread. And then we'll see the rest. And then we also got some rice and seems like some with pepper it's like a mixed platter or something okay, so we also got like uh, two falafels with fries so we're outside of the Kemkum we came to eat and I guess I'm a little bit disillusioned because disappointed. disappointed because it seems like we paid way too much for what we received okay the people were nice the food was it's just falafel and hummus so you're just basically getting falafel hummus. I mean, it's fine. 
but it just seems like overpriced for what they're giving, at least what they gave us. Because according to the menu, it was supposed to be 98 Turkish lira per person and for one dish, and we got one dish and we paid 242. And he told you that in theory he like made the portion a little bigger. Okay, after the not so good experience at the Kemkum vegan, we got here to the vegan artist. And I don't know if we're gonna get something, maybe a dessert or coffee or something, we'll see. Because Stacy was pretty like annoyed with the other experience. So we'll see. So I guess also the vegan artist was a no-go because they wanted like 40 liters for a espresso double than italy and it's, it's worse coffee and then the dessert uh, we didn't know what they had and honestly they didn't have a paper menu it's only like app now yeah all this thing that you have to go there and just scan an app or ask for the guys to use his phone uh, and they don't have a paper menu you have to like you know check somebody's phone while they're standing next to you like while you choose for something to eat I know it's technology but it doesn't cost that much to have a, like you know a paper manual you, you just sit down and you check and you know I don't want to check stuff on a phone and then they didn't seem to speak English that much so it's hard to understand what's in the food what's spicy what's not spicy what's salty what the prices are so you know, and then they have stuff in the glass cases but you actually don't know what it is because there's no name on it so you cannot possibly scroll down the whole menu on the phone and ask them which every picture corresponds to the name on the menu i mean it's just like a nonsense so but i guess maybe we're too complicated i don't know maybe there's people that are on vacation they just get whatever they pay whatever who cares but you know we generally don't eat out that much and 95% of the time when we, we, when we eat out we're always disappointed for whatever reason <laughs> so um, and I guess this is one of those situations so far like the vegan uh, options here in Istanbul they're not that great at least for us well, I mean, there's I mean, tons uh, of places. I mean, there's tons of places. Well, tons, I wouldn't say, for a city that big. Well, I mean, there's options, so you cannot complain. But obviously, I think uh, a lack of uh, English language uh, sometimes. Like the Cancun place, you know, they didn't have a toilet, so we had to go down to the park, to the well, like close to the ferries, and just to reach the toilet and go back up to eat. I mean, it's okay, but, you know, still... I know that for them we all have money because we come from we were tourists and so they maybe think that for us like five euros ten euros is not that much which is not but it doesn't mean that you just have to throw your money on the street just because uh, you know you can sometimes or because it's cheaper than other places and honestly I would say so far I didn't find this city like cheaper than any place that we been in Europe obviously it's probably like the biggest city in Europe and okay the other day I would think the big in Istanbul was cheaper and for the portion they give you and the dessert is not that bad we paid like four euros each but for me it was too spicy so I didn't like that that much but uh, the price was uh, I guess more reasonable and I mean we got what we asked and we paid what they told us and the last place here the camp Kum, we feel that we got like ripped off a bit and this other place here the vegan art system i mean they seemed they couldn't speak english and they didn't exactly know what was going on there so we didn't want to bother with it so i mean as usual it's always better if you cook your own food maybe that's the way we are who knows but uh, definitely there's options so if you're vegan you're in istanbul you're not gonna starve anyhow Okay, so we were just here in Kadikor, Istanbul. Uh, today we took a stroll around here and then we tried a couple of... Uh, actually, we went to the vegan Kum Kum, like a vegan Egyptian restaurant. And let's start with that one. What do you think about that one, Stacy? I guess this section is to be called like the cranky vegan or the crabby vegan. What so, happened today, Stacy? I'm not so happy with uh, everything that happened at the 
you get kind of cool because I feel like we got ripped off in some kind of way because according to the menu, the dish that we were supposed to have for one person, he brought it out for both of us. And I asked him why the price was higher and he had added like a small rice thing and a small eggplant thing. But uh, according to the menu, the price should have been like 100 lira less than what we paid. So basically like for both of us, we basically shared like, we paid for two people, but we only got the dish for like one person with like two small extra things. So the thing is, we totally got ripped off. According to him, he gave us like a bigger portion of the same of the same regular plate that we don't know if that's or not but when we asked him for a bigger portion he told us yeah no problem i'm gonna make it bigger and i asked him how much it was it and he told us 230 240 liter that's what we ended up paying so the price was the same but we don't know i mean well at least we expected like bigger portion for what we paid and i guess he just had us pay double for the same amount that it give other people or just to a one person so that's what we think but maybe there was a misunderstanding maybe we didn't explain exactly what we wanted but apart from that I guess like 242 lira Turkish liras for what we ate uh, was a little too much even if it was like five euros fifty each pretty much still and we ate hardly anything. I mean, yeah, it was really like a little food. It was for just that. like a little bit of an appetizer, essentially. Well, at least we can say the the food like uh, looked and tasted like fresh. So I think that at least was good. But yeah, I think uh, maybe communication should be improved. And then another thing that I don't like personally is like every time a lot of these places now you have to go there and scan like a QR code. There's no more like you know paper or whatever like menus at least you can you know, take your time and if you have a phone that doesn't work or you, or you have no phone they like hand you their phone but it's just like annoying that you have to stand there with their own phone and just like check a menu and just that I, that I didn't like I didn't like uh, either the fact that uh, they didn't have a toilet we had to go down to the pier pretty much come back here just to use the toilet and pay for it like one liter which is fine and then go back up there so I think that was a bummer too but hey, it's not just complaining it's just like you know as customer you just you know report to whatever service you used and, uh, and then we tried the vegan Arsis because this was still hungry but we wanted to go there we found it but the prices looked actually like mm, too much too expensive plus uh, Day two, we didn't have a menu, we had to scan with a QR code, which still was a bummer. Plus, they barely spoke English, at least the people that were there today, so it's like hard to communicate. And you know, they have prices on the menu on their phone, but then you have to scroll down. And then, even if you scroll down, you know the name, but you don't know the thing on the menu. How oh, does it, you know? I was like linked to the thing that you see on the glass case so you should ask every single one what is it and then it starts to communicate if people don't speak English okay now we're in Turkey but okay, you cannot learn every language in the world before you travel so and this is a pretty touristy area so I guess for us so this is a vegan experience in uh, Istanbul so far wasn't that great I mean the vegan Istanbul was uh, decent at least the price was uh, was honest. I mean, we knew what we were getting, we knew what we were paying, and we got what we expected, and we pay what we expected. So that's good. We didn't like the fact that the food was like half warmed and like warmed up with a microwave, and you know they had a super small toilet. The door doesn't even close, but okay, at least they have a toilet. But you know that was decent because we paid we paid uh, four euros each, so we cannot complain. And the guy spoke English, it was nice. And at least there, they don't have a menu, but they have a huge glass case with probably 20, 25 different dishes, and at least you can point, and, and the guy was explaining to us in English, so that that's good. At least you see what you get, and you can say, I want this, I want that, and they give you like portion, and at least that for me was the best experience. The only thing for me, the downside is that 
pretty much everything was spicy, like hot spicy, since I don't like hot spicy food that I didn't like. But apart from that, I think so far was the best of the three, at least. Uh, Entire yeah, the entire package, but that, that was our experience. You know, we, we've been here less than a week, so it's hard to it's hard to you know give judgments and stuff. But like I said, as customers, we you know you use a service and then you say what you think of it. What you want to add, Stacey? Um, yeah, I mean, I would say I pretty much agree. I mean, I'm disappointed about the Cancun. Uh, I was disappointed about the be a narcissist because I felt like even going in there I was like pressured because he was like standing there when we were looking at his phone menu and like reading so I mean it's like hard to like scroll down and like do things you know being rushed I felt rushed even like deciding what I wanted to do in there like sometimes you want to just get in and you want to look at a menu you know like a lot of restaurants even walking around here still they have a menu outside that they put outside that people can like walk up to the window or walk up to the little podium outside and they can like read stuff you know with like being calm about it and like taking their time without having somebody like standing over you kind of like rushing you to make a decision so that's why we didn't stay at the vegan narcissist uh, so I didn't uh, didn't like that feel and uh, Camp Kum I felt kind of ripped off so I would say out of those three so far I'd say the vegan Istanbul for the entire package uh, I would agree with Lenny and say that that's the best out of the three so far.